Hi Robbie, 2-0 uh, today, reverse against Hart down here at Raydale. Uh, how would you summarise today's game? Same as uh, the word I use against Trinan, Ichi Pichi. Um, very unfortunate to go two goals down. I thought we could beat really well first 10 minutes. They scored. The game kind of died a little bit after that. Um, and the two goals they scored from, we talked about before the game. Um, just felt unfortunate. I mean, on another day, I think you look at the chances we had. The game could have swung either way today, and unfortunately for us, it just went to hearts. And two, three possible controversial incidents. We'll sort of go through them. Two maybe handballs in the first half. Yeah, I, you have a good view of those. I don't want to say things I'm going to get in trouble for. No, but, absolutely. But, yeah. um, you know, there's definitely one or two really, you know, poor decisions that happened today that probably were the game changers if if they'd been mm -hmm. given. Um, I'm not going to say much more on that. No, no, I accept that completely, Bobby. Um. Second half, we seemed to battle a lot more than the first half from, from what I saw. Were, was there any particular reason for that? What were you saying at half time? No, to... it was just re reinstalling the belief that we gave the guys before the game. I don't know if anybody would see them watch the game. The first 10 minutes, the guys had the belief to go and match hearts and kind of roll, roll them over. But, you know, when you get sucker punched like that when you're all over a team, it does suck the life out of you um, as a whole group. I mean, it was the same for us as a coaching staff on the side. We were all on it. As soon as it went, you just feel deflated because it was completely against their own play. Um, so it was just reinstalling, we had a good chat, reinstalling that belief into them to bring the tempo and bring that, you know, hard work back into the game again. Um, and it showed the second half, I thought we were excellent in the second half, they can just stun lucky with the chances we had, we had quite mm. a few, four or five good chances in the second half and just the ball didn't fall for us in the, into the net and that's sometimes football and that's why we love it and hate it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, we brought Callum Wilson in, making his debut today, how yep. do you think he's first game for Gretna went today? I would love to see him more on the ball, um, and that's what we spoke about. You know, um, trying to get Callum in the pockets and on the ball. He's a dangerous little player. You can see why he was League One Player of the Month last year at Dumbarton. We are very fortunate to have him down here for the rest of the season, um, and no, no doubt in my mind he's going to improve the squad drastically. Um, so now it's about how can we bed him into the team and get the best out of him as well. Yeah, and we'll have plenty of chances because we're back here next Saturday against Berwick Rangers. Yeah. Uh, any initial thoughts for that game? And uh, uh, we've got Rangers away on Tuesday. Oh yeah, we have. So, so we have. So we're at Dumbarton on Tuesday night for Rangers B, um, which I think the last time was a competitive fixture down here. It was two 0 I think today yeah. last time. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Be good, good another test for the boys, and then again, obviously down here again on on a Saturday. On a Saturday, Berwick, yeah, at Berwick, Berwick, yeah. Um, again today, a uh, crowd over 200 today, which just shows, you know, when we engage with the community that people will come along. Yeah. Uh, we word for the support today, Robbie. That's fantastic to get people through the gates. Um, and again, I hope we're playing the, the, the right football that's going to attract you to come back and watch us again. You know, sometimes, you know, for, for those that are maybe just getting into the game with our young kids, football doesn't always go your way. And sometimes you need to accept defeat, but you don't accept defeat. In a bad way, you need to kind of look at the positives from the game and how we can focus on getting better. So that's what we're going to look to do and hopefully put on a performance for anyone that comes up to watch us on, on Tuesday night against Rangers and then for down here again against Berwick. Yeah, well, we'll see you on Tuesday night, Robbie. Yeah. All being well. Right. Uh, thank you very much for coming out just now and uh, um, say have a good Saturday night, I suppose, Robbie. <laughs> yeah, when we finally get away from here. <laughs> no, I'll go to bed when I get up. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we'll be here um, tomorrow as well. We've got Gretna under 15s in cup action against Allen, and we've got the under 17s playing us here as well tomorrow. So if there's anybody who fancies um, some Sunday football, then uh, I encourage us to get down to Raydale Park tomorrow. And we'll have the kiosk open as well. So there's always a cup of tea going. <laughs> thank you. Okay, Robbie, thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you.